Hello and welcome to day 45 of the Mindfulness Challenge. My name is Julian Jenkins, as you probably know, and we've been over the last 45 days working with each other for us to be able to build a mindful awareness, for us to be able to understand how our emotions, fears, the situations around us can really have effect on our mental, on our mind, body and soul. And what we're trying to do through this mindfulness really is to be able to bring some calm, bring some peace, but also for us to be able to truly understand how our mind works and, and the ability that we've hopefully now been cultivating over the last 45 days allows us to retrain our mind, refocus our mind, but importantly to break some of those habits and build these um, pathways and bridges and highways of, of positivity by having some neuroplasticity, you know, retraining our brains and, and working with, you know, with compassion and love and empathy and all of these things. So today we're going to do a laying down meditation and it's about visualizing a lake. And this meditation is really soft and soothing, but it invites you to come and visualize that there's an ever-changing lake, but there's a consistency within that lake. But also, while the surface is choppy, much like our minds, beneath the waves is a great pool of peace. And that is where we're going to start today. So um, I'd like you to lay down if you're in bed. Great. If not, just find a comfortable position. As always, I'm going to bring up uh, an image and we're going to start the meditation. So I want you to make yourself comfortable, as I said, either lying down on your bed or the floor or whatever you can get comfortable. Maybe, you know, you may need some pillows to, to help you with that. Maybe put some pillows or some sort of support under your knees. And allow your eyes to close when you're ready. And just allow your body just to melt into the floor or the bed. And allowing your attention to gently come into the body. And just feeling and sensing the breath from moment to moment, from breath to breath. Experiencing the sense of the body as a whole, simply just lying here, extended and breathing. And when you feel ready, picture in your mind's eye the image of a lake. Perhaps a lake that you know well and have frequented. One that you've seen in a photograph. Or an imaginary lake, for that matter. Just seeing if you can bring that image to mind with a very vivid focus in your mind's eye. Being able to notice how it's an extended body of water held in a depression within the earth's surface, perhaps fed by a spring or a stream. And if you watch and observe the lake carefully, you'll notice that it's always changing. And yet it's always itself. It changes as the sun moves across the sky and the light is reflected off the water in many different ways. It changes depending on the weather. Sometimes on very calm days, the surface might be like glass and reflect virtually everything with great precision that comes by. Clouds, birds, the trees that might surround the lake, the sun as it makes its journey across the sky. And for that matter, the moon and the stars at night. So there are times when the lake is extremely reflective. And it contains in a certain way everything that comes by or over it. And in different periods of time, the surface might be choppy or rolled and sometimes quite pronounced in the waves in which times the lights may sparkle off the waves in different ways, like a myriad of jewels. Of course, the lake changes through the seasons. In the winter, depending on its location, it might actually be frozen over, on the surface at least. Through day and night, through the seasons and through the years, the lake is constantly changing, but always in its own essence. Of nature. And let's see if we can't invite the lake to become a co-extension of our body. Just laying here so that your body, your body, becomes the lake itself. 
we feel held and embraced. And as we lie here, we're aware of many ways in our own mind, like the surface of the lake, sometimes highly reflective and sometimes choppy. Getting in touch with the sense of the entirety of the lake, the full body of water, not only in the surface, but down below. And as we lie here, we're just experiencing the fullness of our own being, so that even times when our mind is choppy, upset or reactive, or it's dealing with difficult things, we can drop beneath the surface of our mind's waves and find a stillness and a calmness that's always here and always, always available to us. With each moment, with each breath. And certainly when we come to lie down in this way, lying here under the canopy of vast awareness, experiencing the moment-to-moment -moment changes in the body and the sensations. We're witnessing our thoughts, our feelings, our impulses, the sounds, and all the while, lake-like. Just simply laying here, watching the play of the weather, of our mind and our body. Allowing the awareness just to hold it all, moment by moment, breath by breath, in our full, amazing, complete awareness, moment by moment. Now I'm just to lay here now and just breathing in, breathing out, just bring anything to mind that recently over the last day or so has just not sat right with you. It might be an emotion, it may be a conversation, maybe something you've watched on television. Just bring it to mind. But bring it to mind in awareness of the lake. So on the surface you see all of the things that you didn't like, the choppy waters. But we can non-attach to that. We can see it and bring it to our awareness. But knowing now that we can just drop back under the surface. To the calm and to the peace of our breath. And the beautiful thing about meditation and mindfulness is that we could have a million of these situations, but we can always drop below the water one million and one times. We can always come back to our breath. Deep breath in, hold it and just breathe out. And if you do so, just slowly and gently open your eyes and wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. So that's, a, that's the lake meditation. We've done one lake meditation before and the great thing about it is, is that we realise that there is a constant, there is a, there is a structure, there is a foundation and that's the lake and that's you. And yes, there may be many things that happen on the surface of the water, but underneath is this beautiful, calm, wonderful, peaceful place that we can go to anytime we want. When anything is happening around us, we can face the emotion, we can hold it with loving kindness, we can accept it and drop back down from the surface and just breathing that beautiful calm and peace of the waters. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's Sunday here, so I'm about to go and have some Sunday lunch, which is normally a roast. I think today we're having chicken with roast potatoes and a variety of other vegetables with homemade gravy. It sounds wonderful, and it is. But when I'm gonna eat that today, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna mindfully just cut the food that's in front of me. Then one piece by one piece, I'm just gonna put it in my mouth. And I'm gonna taste the different flavors. I'm gonna roll it round in my mouth to be able to feel the different structures, the different flavors, the different textures. And then piece by piece and bit by bit, I'll eventually clear my plate. And I'll have eaten my Sunday lunch in a very mindful way, in a way 
that ex excludes gratitude. We're so lucky to be able to have the ability to do this and yet we so often take it all for granted. Not today. So I'd like you today, when you have your lunch, your dinner or your main meal with you on your own or with your family, whoever it is, just take that moment to be with that food. Be with the gratitude and amazement that we have the food that's on a plate in front of us. We're so lucky to have it. Today there are millions of people who haven't. God bless you. Be love and give love. And don't forget, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Thank you very much for being with me today. Thank you to everybody who is on the front line, who are helping people during this coronavirus. And thank you for staying home. We're all making a difference. And one day we can all come together again. See you later. Be love and give love. Enjoy your Sunday. And don't forget to eat mindfully. Bye-bye.